Are you ready for the unexpected? Here we go. Number one, Roman concrete. Most of our buildings are temporary. Glass towers. Highways, even bridges, have lifespans of a few decades before cracks and repairs start draining money. Yet Roman concrete laughs in the face of time. Their aqueducts and ports are still standing strong after 2,000 years of earthquake storms and salty seawater. The secret is wild. Roman concrete wasn't just a simple cement mixture. It had volcanic ash and chunks of lime that reacted with water whenever cracks formed. That chemical reaction created new minerals sealing the gaps. In short, their concrete healed itself. Imagine your driveway filling its own potholes while you sip coffee. Modern scientists have been trying to replicate this for years. And while there are self-healing concretes today, none are as cheap, durable, and environmentally friendly as Rome's version. We pour billions into repairing roads every year. Yet Romans made concrete that literally got stronger the older it became. Honestly, if Home Depot sold Roman mix, homeowners would be fighting over it like it was Black Friday. Number 2. Damascus Steel We picture medieval swords as heavy, clumsy clubs. But Damascus Steel was a legend. Sharp enough to slice through weaker swords and strong enough to endure in battle. The blades were also flexible enough to bend without snapping. Some chronicles even describe them cutting silk as it floated in the air. Here is the kicker. Damascus steel was forged more than a thousand years ago, yet scientists today still cannot fully recreate it. Modern analysis of surviving blades shows microscopic patterns, almost like carbon nanotubes, formed inside the metal. How blacksmiths achieve this, without microscopes, chemistry degrees, or even electricity, remains a mystery. It is like they hacked into nanotechnology by accident. We have experts who can make surgical scalpels with incredible precision, yet when it comes to reproducing Damascus steel, they're clueless. It's not just surprising, it's a bit humiliating. If Costco sold knives made of real Damascus steel, chefs would throw away their entire kitchen sets overnight. Number three, Greek fire, the weapon that burned the sea. If you think flamethrowers are modern, think again. In the seventh century, the Byzantine Navy rolled out a weapon so terrifying that enemy sailors thought the gods had cursed them. Greek fire. This was not just fire. It stuck to ships, clung to armor, and even burned on water. Imagine the horror. You jump overboard to escape, and the sea itself is on fire. The exact formula was the most tightly kept military secret of its age. Historians guess it involved petroleum resin sulfur, maybe quicklime, but no one knows for sure. Modern militaries have tried to reproduce it and failed. We have napalm, sure. But napalm does not burn on water the same way. The Byzantines had a handheld dragon, and they pointed it at anyone foolish enough to attack them. The fact that this recipe has been lost for over a thousand years makes it one of the biggest mysteries in military history. Even today, no navy has anything quite like it. Imagine being the poor Viking raider who showed up expecting loot, only to watch his entire fleet turn into floating bonfires. Number 4. The Antikythera Mechanism Discovered in a shipwreck in 1901, the Antikythera mechanism looked like a rusted box of gears. For decades, people dismissed it as random junk. Then scientists started scanning it and realized it was a computer. Built more than 2,000 years ago, it could predict eclipses and track the motion of the sun, moon, and planets. In many ways, it worked like a portable observatory. The gears were so precise that nothing comparable appeared again until the Renaissance over a millennium later. That means Greek engineers had the skill to make a hand-cranked NASA calculator without electricity, without telescopes, and without modern lathes. Today we panic when Google Maps stops working. The Greeks had their own pocket-sized space app powered by gears. Imagine a sailor using this device to predict the next eclipse while everyone else still blamed the gods. It's a humbling reminder that the ancients weren't simple at all. They built a mechanical computer in a world without even batteries. Number 5. Incan Stonework Earthquake Proof Lego Walls Take a trip to Machu Picchu and you will see walls that look like magic tricks. 
The stones are so perfectly fitted together that you cannot slide a sheet of paper between them. No mortar holds them in place, just precision carving. And here is the crazy part. Peru is earthquake country. Tremors have flattened modern concrete structures. But these Inca walls are still standing. The reason is their design. The stones are shaped irregularly like a three-dimensional puzzle. They lock together and shift slightly during quakes absorbing shock instead of cracking. Our skyscrapers need steel reinforcement shock absorbers and high-tech engineering. The Incas carved stone blocks so precisely it looked like giant Lego. And their walls have outlasted entire empires. It makes you wonder how much longer our modern buildings will survive. After all, these ancient builders raised whole cities on mountaintops without ever using a single crane. Number six, ancient Persian refrigerators. Air conditioning feels like one of the greatest modern luxuries. But 2,400 years ago, Persians were chilling out in the desert with no electricity. They built structures called yakchals, massive domes of mud brick that could keep ice frozen in the middle of summer. The trick was brilliant physics. Underground chambers, thick insulation, and wind towers pulled cool air inside. During the winter, they collected ice from nearby mountains, stored it in these vaults, and kept it frozen until the scorching summer months. The walls could be more than six feet thick, blocking heat in the day and releasing coolness at night. Some chambers went 20 feet deep, tapping into the Earth's natural refrigeration system. The result was stunningly effective. Ice could last for months, sometimes all year, even when the desert hit 100 degrees Fahrenheit. They even made frozen desserts like falude and early sorbet with noodles and rose water. Basically, Persians invented ice cream before electricity, and they did it with mud and wind. Number seven, aqueducts plumbing for eternity. When Rome wanted water, they did not dig a hundred wells. They built aqueducts. Long stone channels carried water for miles across valleys and hills. They were angled with such precision that the flow never stopped. Some were so efficient that they delivered millions of gallons of fresh water into the city every day. 2,000 years later, many of these aqueducts are still intact. Some even still carry water. Compare that to modern water systems. Burst pipes every few years and waste billions in repairs. Romans engineered plumbing that outlived the empire itself. Without pumps, without electricity, just math stone and patience. Imagine living in Rome in 100 AD and turning on your fountain. The water came from an infrastructure so durable it could still be working when the iPhone 200 arrives. Seven inventions, seven times ancient humans completely outsmarted us. We like to brag about smartphones, rockets, and AI. But the truth is our ancestors solved problems in ways that we still struggle to match. They built concrete that heals swords that defy science fire, that burns the sea computers powered by gears, earthquake-proof walls, brain surgery with rocks, and plumbing that lasts longer than our governments. These were not primitive people fumbling in the dark. They were engineers, inventors, and problem solvers who sometimes make us look lazy. So next time you think of ancient people as cavemen, remember they were doing things we cannot copy even with billion-dollar labs. And if you want more shocking ancient secrets that put modern science to shame, hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, I might just find the recipe for Greek fire and test it on your Wi-Fi router.